Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we will be taking a look at the Terra Nova Southern Cross 2, which is a four season, two person tent. I got rid of my Hilleberg and I've been out in Milanshan during the winter months and a few other bits and pieces. And I'm realizing that I need something a little bit more sturdy and a little bit more four season. So we're taking a look at this, which is a true four season tent. Uh, it's my first look at it, so we're going to pitch it in the garden, have a little look around, and then I'm going to take it out for its first spin in the wild. Join me as I take my first little explore around the Terra Nova Southern Cross 2. I've also got a footprint for it which I'll put down first. The weather's been terrible of late, so we've just had a little bit of a break in the weather. So I thought, let's get out in garden, have a look at new tent. Wow, oh, it smells good, it smells good. And then in the pole bag, he's got a separate area, which is pretty cool. Separate Velcro area to keep your pegs. There she is set up, so that was pretty easy. Pretty easy without reading instructions. And one of my main things that I'm looking for in this one is ventilation, especially to stop condensation, which in winter can be a problem. Let's have a look. I'm excited. Oh, it's been a while, mate. Been a while since we've had a, a new tent. Wow. There she is. That's good. It's not elasticated, but we can live with it. There we go, we'll get around the other side, eh? Alt doors open fully. And there we are. Nice and roomy, feels nice and sturdy. Let's have a look inside, are we? It does look like there's bonkers room, but it's a wide angle lens. <laughs> Welcome, Tales from the Tent. The vestibules are pretty big. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll fasten it all up actually from the inside, but first I'm gonna go and get, let's go and get me airbed and blow up my airbed and put it in and let's get a true test of how, how much room this is and if it is truly a two person tent, gives a sec. Let's have a look, oh that's all right is that. Lengthwise, there's a lot of room. Let's close this door. The quality feels good. I'm not sure. You wanna have a feeling of like you're in, you're in a something that's gonna look after you when chips are down there's not as much room as in the alak 2 up the top here it's quite a thin up top the inside is quite far away from the outside which is good for condensation my mat there's ample room at each side if i push that so it's touching and we have a look at the bottom we've still got 460 mil we've still got about 18 inches space there so there's a lot of room so it's if you're a, a taller lady or gentleman it's ideal for you could you get two mats side by side? You're gonna struggle, I think. They will cram down. I haven't really got this for a two-man tent. I've got it for my one-man winter tent, four season. And so it's perfect. I mean, for just me, it's exciting. There's enough room in here. We've got some loops up top for, uh, for lanterns. And I can string, and which I will do is I'll attach a bit of string from this to that so that I can hang my socks over or whatever choose to do right let's have a quick look at width floor we're looking at 124 centimeters 224 centimeters in length from its highest point to the floor is quite impressive actually and that is 96 centimeters it'd be very easy to get changed in here and just spend time in here it feels very it feels good you know you get that feeling of a tent now one of the things that i'm that i am keen on is ventilation and you've got these flaps here that comes down that's all mesh the outside there's a mesh layer there plenty of through draft there's one behind you to mirror that let's see what these are saying so you've got the main door so you can open that oh that's good this is what i was looking for this top section which you can zip down roll up 
and the, the material is quite it's quite silky and quite you know slippy the, and the loop and toggle the loops are pretty big for the toggles well that's fine it holds it fine if you see it holds it fine but it's it's still it's not very tight a little bit of farting about and that's going to come undone because why don't they put it like either make either elasticate it or have a toggle like you've done on the outside it works really well on the outside just put a little toggle on the inside because these are the bits that i like to i like to have all these squared away nice because they're the inside of your tent that's the aesthetics in it if you're in if you're stuck in here for hours on end you want it to be all squared away nice and if i'm you know if i've got cold hands and winds are blowing and i've got a fanny around with this and it keeps coming undone my head's gonna go in it head's gonna implode but that is a lot of ventilation there and then you can open the main door and it's got this little hood here with the wire in it to keep it up and that's going to stop rain coming in you can close that so you're not going to get any bugs in there nice that it closes one-handed as well and then you've got your ventilation as i say it's a two-man tent it's got two doors pockets we have a pocket down there and a pocket up here as well again mirroring itself there doesn't seem to be a side that's specifically for your head it all seems pretty symmetrical the only gripe is these ties on the inside oh, i've got two zips so one you can zip it all the way down for your ventilation then one at the bottom brings it all the way back up it has this little clip so you can fasten the door at the bottom for when you're in high winds it also has this clip on the bottom so that you can i'll show you you can just open your door clip that onto your external frame and that's out of your way very quick i love that um, it was the same on the pioneer too a great feature it feels good i put you up the other side i mean it is it's symmetrical though so you're not seeing much different from other side plenty of room actually for this bed my air bed at its widest point we're looking at 62 and 62 and 62 so you want 124 all the way across are we getting that at a push at a real push for two so i would say it's two man it is two man if you've maybe got thinner air beds or you don't mind overlapping them a bit as far as a person being in here more than enough room for two people just getting your air beds in i don't like solo camping in a one-man tent so much because especially in winter you're in there for a long time i like to be able to move around get changed and do what i want to do this seems to have a lot of room for that i like it the initial my initial thoughts are i can't wait to spend some time in this tent and that's when you get to know your tent in it is when you're out and about in wilderness Again, you're on the other side now, so you've got this same thing there. I'd be keen to know how it deals with condensation because there is quite a lot of ventilation options. The material feels really good. <laughs> and the porch, it's got a really good vestibule area here. You're looking at what there is, widest point. At 53 centimetres at its widest point. Plenty of room to cook, plenty of room to put your bag. And it all clips on, so it's, it, it pitches inner and outer at the same time, which is a bonus, especially when you're pitching in the rain. Where's my shoes on other side? <laughs> Let's get my shoes on. The Southern Cross 2 is a completely freestanding, lightweight tent suitable for all season backpacking. Taking its design winning inspiration from the award winning laser range of lightweight tents, but with an additional pole to provide extra stability and structure. New for 2023, adjustable upper vent hoods on the fly sheet to help with condensation. Revised adjustable fly sheet door tie back for opening options and extra pegging points on the door. The tent has two doors and two equal sized porches enabling easy access while providing plenty of storage for kit. The fly sheet and ground sheet are fully tapered providing complete waterproof protection. There's a useful webbing loop at the bottom of the fly sheet door to accommodate a trekking pole enabling you to create a canopy. The packed weight of the tent is 2.43 kilograms. The pegs are terra firma pegs, 13 grams, and the guy lines are Dyneema reflective. The cost of the tent as I make this video is 900 pounds. They do offer a wide range of different tents on the website, so it is worth checking out. A couple of other tents that I can recommend are the Helm Compact 2 at £300 and the Pioneer 2 at £399. I'll leave a link below if you want to go and check out their website and use the code HERES20 at checkout to get 20% off all non-sale items. As the clouds start to turn a little bit grey and ominous, I'm going to wrap this one up. So that's my first look at the Terra Nova Southern Cross 2. I'm excited by it and I'm excited to take it out 
into the wilderness to give it a proper run for its money. Oh, there's Robert. Oh, never mind that. Never mind Robert. She's a sturdy one as well. I'll probably swap out the four corner pegs for my delta pegs, put some uh, cord on the inside as a washing line. I own the Pioneer 2. I've owned the Helm 2 as well, which is discontinued now, but that was one of my favorite tents. I've still got it upstairs, but it's got a rip in it and one of the zips has come off because I did put it through its paces. So I might get that fixed and see about I'll definitely be comparing and contrasting the Southern Cross 2 to the Pioneer 2. I might get them pitched up in the garden at the same time and have a little look through. But I want to take this out and do a couple of wild camps in it, at least spend a night out in it so I can get a proper feel for it and spend some time in there. And Terra Nova were kind enough to give me a discount code for anything on their store that's not in a sale, tents, clothes, hats, whatever they have, you can get 20% off if you use the code HAYS20 and I'll leave a link below. So just follow that link and if you want this tent or any of the other tents they do, they're a UK company and they make some quality gear, so you get 20% off. Thanks Terra Nova for that. I guess so the next video will be me camping in the Southern Cross too, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Goodbye for now. Shall I get in the tent? Look, that's how you do it, isn't it? Say goodbye. Come on. Just hide it vestibule because can't be bothered to open the other door. <laughs> see ya! Thanks for joining me, goodbye. Cue music.